What's up guys, and today we got the Mutt Master Rob Gronkowski 95 overall chain mover and New England chemistry. 6'6", six 84 speed, 87 strength, 94 release, 91 spectacular, 92 catch in traffic, 91 catch, 88 run block, and 87 route running. Now he does also have some pretty decent truck and stiff arm stats if you can get them in the open with a, I believe a 90 truck, yeah, and an 87 stiff arm. But of course the first thing that I did want to test out with him was his route running. And so many people, you know, put their tight ends on the line, sometimes they put them out wide, I tried both. You can see right here, the first thing that I did was put him on the line, of course, test out the uh, route running. And of course, right here, you can see his speed kicking a little bit. He's not the fastest, but he's got just enough speed to get separation. Now look at this. This is third and 20, right? Third and 20, I'm going to send him deep, put him on an out route, and look at this, the uh, separation he gets. So he may not be the best route runner, but he can get you separation. And of course, right here, you can put him on wide as well. And he is six foot six, so if you want to throw the ball high like this, you absolutely can. So a pretty decent route runner overall. As far as the one-on-ones and the deep ball, I know that so many guys, you know, rely on swatting the ball. So even though the aggressive catch is already toned down, and then when you add in the fact that so many guys are trying to swat the ball now, it is definitely tough to get these aggressive catches. But it's not impossible. You see right here, he definitely has the awareness to catch those those uh, deflected passes as well. And as far as the spectacular catches go, you're not going to get a lot of them, but you know, just as you would expect, once in a while they will pop up. So. Not the best deep threat in the game from what I could tell. And of course, run blocking was one of his major selling points. And believe me, he is a pretty good run blocker. Especially if you put him out wide like this. Of course, he's going to be going against corners and safeties. And he's just going to have a much higher success rating. As you can see right here, just holding those corners and safeties in their spot. If you put him on the line, obviously, he's going to be going up against defensive ends and linebackers. And he can do pretty good, uh, pretty good against them too. But obviously, no one is perfect. And this right here is what I'm talking about. If you put him on the line, he's got a higher chance of going up against defensive ends and linebackers. Just completely block shedded Gronkowski to kill that run. Right here, going up against a corner, just block sheds him like nothing and just kills that run as well. So, he's a great run blocker, but like I said, no one's perfect. And this here as well, he is a great tight end to have on your team. But I don't want anyone to think that just because he's a 95 overall and a great catching stats that he's going to be, you know, completely unstoppable or, you know, just an amazing deep threat overall that's just not the case however with that being said where I found the most success with him and how most people use Gronkowski is sending him across the middle and just relying on his speed and catching in traffic all mixed together and this is also how I used uh, Dallas Clark you know put him on slants send him across the middle even if I see someone using across the middle if you can fit it there just perfectly it, it's still very reliable or just sending him across the middle and just throwing the ball high which is also a great option but using him you know as a slot receiver or I'm sorry a, a slot tight end is I think the best way overall honestly because you see right here he can take a hit and hold on to the ball something that a lot of tight ends can't do you see right there that, that guy was trying to use it but if you can do if you can fit that pass in there perfectly you can still make good plays so in my opinion, I think this is still the best way to use Gronkowski. So all in all guys, a very, obviously a very dependable uh, tight end. But I still hold my ground in terms of if I had to choose between him or Dallas Clark, I would still go with Dallas Clark. He's faster. He's still an amazing deep threat, which is crazy because when I try to throw deep to Gronkowski, as you saw over and over and over again, it just wasn't happening, which makes sense. But when I was reviewing Dallas Clark, he was coming down with some crazy animations uh, down the field. If you put Gronkowski at receiver, his rating or his overall drops. If you put Clark at a receiver, his his uh, rating goes up, which is just amazing. So I know most guys, well not most guys, but some guys were telling me that Gronkowski is a better run blocker than Dallas Clark, which I know I agree it's definitely true. But if I had to choose between the better run blocker or the better catcher and the faster tight end, I would go with the uh, faster and better catcher. But that's just me. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. My next review, I'm still waiting to see who Team of the Week players are available today. I'll make, a, I'll make a decision based off of that. And on defense, I'm currently reviewing Paul Krause. That review should be out tomorrow, most likely. But anyways, guys, you guys have been sending me messages and pictures of your pack pulls. I've seen like seven of them, seven of them already, and I am jealous. Man, you guys are getting some amazing pulls. I have not yet pulled anything worthwhile. But anyways, guys, I'll see you boys for that Krause review. Peace.